Hey guys, what's going on? In this video, you're going to learn how to create a freeze frame sequence and incorporate it into your video for this really cool effect. All this can be achieved in Final Cut Pro with no need to download or install any plugins. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you enjoy this video, make sure to hit the share button to share this with someone else who might like it. Before we get started, there's a couple things you have to keep in mind when recording your footage for this effect. Number one is your camera must be perfectly still, so I'd highly recommend using a tripod. Number two is using a higher frame rate, your freeze frames will have less motion blur and be much sharper. And number three is to use the method I'm going to show you today, you must have a dark subject against a light background. I'll explain why later on in this video. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and take a look at our clip. Skim through the clip and place a playhead where you want the freeze frame sequence to start. This is where your first freeze frame will be. Now from the menu bar select edit and add freeze frame. Final Cut Pro will blade your clip and add a 3 second still image or freeze your video clip for 3 seconds on the frame your playhead's over. Now let's grab the freeze frame clip and drag it up above our timeline, making sure to line it up with a cut in the primary timeline and ripple trim the end to line up with the end of our clip. Press V to temporarily disable this clip so we can see the clip under it. Now let's skim over to where you want the next image in the sequence to be and add another keyframe, this time by using a keyboard shortcut. With a skimmer over your desired frame, press Option F to add a freeze frame. Once again, click and drag this to the top layer in your timeline, line it up with a cut, ripple trim out, and press V to disable this clip. Repeat this as many times as necessary until you get to the last frame of your sequence. If you have lots of layers, you can always resize your timeline window and adjust the clip height from the clip appearance menu to make all your layers visible. Now let's go back and re-enable all our freeze frames by selecting the disabled clips and pressing V. By default, Final Cut Pro will always display the top clip in your timeline. So if we play back our project, what we have is a series of freeze frames. For this effect, we need to change the way Final Cut Pro blends layer clips in our timeline. Let's select our first freeze frame clip, open the inspector, and from the blend drop down menu, select darken. When you select darken blend mode, instead of just displaying the layer on top, Final Cut Pro compares the color values of each pixel from the selected layer and the layer below it, and displays the one that's darker. This is why when filming, you need to have a dark subject against a light background. This way the subject will always be visible, no matter what layer it's on. Let's command click the rest of the freeze frames and change the blend mode from normal to darken. Let's play back our clip and take a look. Another way to achieve this effect is by applying a mask to the freeze frame clips, but that itself is a subject for another video. As long as you have a light background and a dark subject, this is a much easier and quicker way to achieve this effect. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking and commenting below. New Final Cut Pro tutorials release weekly, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back next week for another Final Cut Pro tutorial.